right so for the person who posted wtf what is she talking about you knew exactly what i was talking about last night okay if you watched the whole video you knew exactly what i was talking about now don't get me wrong i do have issues with my dialect because i had to learn two languages at the same time but i think i made myself very clear last night where the whole point of my video was that you've been with a person for 10 or 15 20 years since you were in your when you were younger to now that you're older and that person does not know anything about accountability or that person has not grown okay so my main objective was why do we make excuses for these people like there there shouldn't be no excuse throughout the years we had to grow throughout the years we had to accept accountability for our actions and if we're not doing that and now 10 15 years pass are you going to give that person 10 15 more years to get their shit together I mean, I'm just asking because that to me is a waste of time and I don't care. I have my own opinion to me is a waste of time. Okay. No, I, I'm not going to sit here and give you 10 or 15 more years to hurt me and be abusive to me and for me to just hope in and pray that you don't do that to me again. No, it doesn't work like that. But anyways, let's get into it because I truly believe allowing your partner to continue to hurt you every time is definitely not helpful in a relationship. That's like I said before, you're going to be sad all the time. I, you're probably not even going to be able to enjoy your relationship as much as you would like to enjoy it. Sometimes the only thing to do when your partner refuses accountability and growth is to just walk away. I mean, that's what I did. Just walked away. I didn't care about the years. That it, that it, it meant something that I gave somebody 10 or 15 years of my life and they refused to do right. Um, and I gave many chances but I did have to wake up. I had to wake up. A person can only do to us what we allow. That is period. So I can't be mad, of, mad at that person. I can only be mad at myself because I was the one who sat here and let that person do me the way they did me for that long. So... Yes, my partner fooled me into thinking that they were going that he was going to change. Well, now I am also, you know, back then I was like, well, I'm also going to allow them to get away with it too. Like you're just going to allow them to keep getting away with it because at the end of the day, like I said, the pe people around you are only going to do what they do because you allow them to do that. So hold that person accountable. Cheating, lying, abuse, all of that, man, it hurts. It can break a person for real. It can. In many ways, in so many ways, it can break a person. And I don't think most people understand that. So when you don't take action and you continue to let this person um, be by your side and you're like, okay, it's okay. We're going to move on. We are just going to try again. Um, then you're letting them know that it's okay to treat you that way because you're not taking any action. I didn't take any action. I just continue to let a person do me the way they did me. And no, I stopped those excuses. I didn't make excuses anymore for that person. When I finally woke up and smelled the coffee and I was like, wait a minute, what it is that I'm doing here? Why is this person getting away with so much? I had to rethink the whole relationship. I did, I had to rethink the whole relationship. 
I had to take a, think about my future. I had to think about my kids' future. I had to think about my happiness. I had to think about my mental health being. Like people don't want to think about those things, but it's very important. If you're not mentally health, um, healthy and you're steadily going into broken relationships where your, your mental is getting um, disturbed, how do you feel like, how do you think you're going to be able to move on with your life like that? Stress is the number one killer. Do you really want to be stressed in your relationship? Do you really want to be heartbroken every time? You know, you don't have to be mean to people and you don't have to come at them the wrong way. You could be compassionate about your partner, but that does not mean you have to keep allowing it. And for that person that didn't know what I was talking about last night, you knew exactly what I was talking about. People love to say they don't know what you're talking about when people are talking some real shit. They never know. I think I made myself clear. And I'm going to make myself more clear on this video because I definitely want you to watch it again. I am not going to sit here and tell y'all about my story if it wasn't true. Okay, mental breakdown, men or women, that, that's really bad. I don't even know, like, if, if you love yourself and you know what you're worth and, and you can, you know, you know your self-worth, I'm pretty sure you don't want to keep going through that. So, yes, don't put yourself in situations. Don't put yourself, don't excuse people what they already know that they have been messing up on. And they're just too stubborn or too, too stuck on their ways not to accept that they have done wrong not to accept that throughout the years you shouldn't have stayed the same your actions should have never stayed the same it should have been you you should have went through the years with me growing to become a better uh, partner for me or you know you for them it could be either way But yeah, some people want to just sit here and just act like you don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what you're talking about. Don't put your mental health in jeopardy. You cannot make anyone do whatever they don't want to do. And when you allow a person to keep treating you, keep doing the same thing over and over again. Hello, insanity. You cannot... You cannot keep doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results. It's still going to be the same result. Still going to be the same result. So don't downplay yourself. Don't think you're not worthy. Don't think just because you think differently um, is it, something wrong with that or you're going to push somebody away. No. If you have certain standards that that person can't meet up to because they're too busy out here hurting you every time, let them go. Let them go. 